to Strength Reversed. It's Amy. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm in the car again because I got a workout in and I'm very proud of myself, but I'm in the parking lot waiting for my son's band concert to start. <laughs> it's one of those things where I don't have time to go home, but I couldn't go straight there. And so I thought I would make a VR to Masha. This is the Top Tarot Trumps series. And um, I'm being defiant, Masha, because I'm going to blame Laura from Aquamarine 18. <laughs> it's your fault, Laura, because I saw Laura's video and it was strength. And so I thought, oh, okay, Masha must have picked strength. But then when I saw Masha's video, it was justice. But I already got my strength cards together and um, it's fine. So I have no 811 preference. I'm an RWS gal, so to me, strength is just, I think, number eight, but um, whatever. I will get to justice for 11, Masha. <laughs> so today is strength, and since I am strength reversed, I have a lot to say about strength. Um, I don't know if it's strength reversed, I think is probably a different meaning for me than it would be out of a book. But this is the Rider weight strength card. And um, this is one of those lifelong lesson cards for me. <laughs> and um, after the chariot, which uh, um, I was re I read a little bit and I'm very fascinated by that strength is eight or strength is 11. And I'm trying to find what resource I read that gave a really good description about why why strength would be eight and why it would be 11 and how it makes sense either way. I just remember thinking it makes sense either way. Um, but um, I did read that, you know, after, if it comes after 10, the wheel, then that is things that are, the wheel of fortune are things that are out of your control. It's change that you can't avoid, like cyclical change. And strength is more about um, things that you can control. So that does make sense. But after seven, the chariot, the chariot is a very masculine energy in that it is active, it is doing, it is like, you know, sometimes can be forcing it. It's a lot of will and willpower and moving through come hell or high water. And then strength um, is a more of a feminine, it's an even number. It's a feminine card. Um, it is about fortitude and strength, but it's not about forcing things. And I really like this card. So it's the beginning of the second line. And I like the, you know, the Lemniscuit over the the magician in the first line and then over the strength card. And I really like to see an animal of some sort in a strength card. I don't really care about the lemniscate. I don't really necessarily care if it's a lion. I'm looking through my cards. It's usually a lion, but there are some different versions. The first version that I really like is the Lightseers. And I like that she is the lion. It's kind of taming that part of yourself or owning that, you know, wild <laughs> animal part of yourself that we all have that shadow side, that dark side. And when I say taming, I don't mean controlling, but I mean making friends with it, respecting it. And I think there's a difference in um, like keeping it under lock and key than uh, learning to work with it. And so she has, this just reminds me, come in like a lion, go out like a lamb. Um, but you can see she's very gentle and I like that. Some of the other cards that I like, this is the Murder of Crows and um, I like, it's almost like she's holding the lion's mouth open and it reminds me of, <laughs> I live in Florida and so people do weird things with alligators like stick their heads in their mouths or as a feat of strength or to show 
<laughs> to show intestinal fortitude, testicular fortitude, I guess. And that is what this reminds me of. She obviously knows this animal well enough to, it's almost like, you know, doing dental work or something. <laughs> like she has, she knows what the animal's going to do. She's very familiar with it and trusts it. Um, sometimes the strength card, I really like the circusy aspect of it. I have this picture of an old time circus and the, there's a girl like in a acrobat outfit or something and she's sitting on top of a lion very casually and that's what this this is the pulp tarot that's what it reminds me of just being so confident or um, owning that part of ourselves being comfortable with it trusting it and that's that those are the things that I like in a strength card there has to be something scary about the strength card um whether it's a lion or some other beast <laughs> it has to be a little there has to be something frightening that we're we're coexisting with um here's a frightening situation this is from the titanic tarot and this is the risen spirit second edition um we have the mom when we're in a situation that is very stressful very scary um, if we have kids or we're responsible for kids, sometimes we just have to fake it <laughs> and act like we're not, you know, scared just until we get through it. So the mom is putting on a brave face and the little girl is holding a lion stuffed animal, which is very cute. I like that card. This is the Mystical Cats Tarot, and the cat itself is the wild beast in this card who knows when to be aggressive and knows when to be gentle and is happy to play with all the little birds. Um, probably any second, as cats do, they turn on a dime and might start swatting away. They're unpredictable, you know. Here's the Golden Girls Tarot, and I really like Sophia being the one with the lion because she has so much life experience, and she's so old, she's lived a full life, that she just kind of takes things in stride, and she doesn't try to um, strong arm anyone. She just will tell a story, or sometimes she will be very direct, but... She lets people make their own mistakes, <laughs> and she might say, I told you so, but um, I think she's made friends with the fact that there are ups and downs in life, and um, she also has a fierce side of her that she embraces. So I like Sophia. Um, this strength card is from the Santa Muerte Tarot, and I just think it's absolutely hysterical. It's a Lucha Libre guy fighting some dragon, <laughs> and I think it's just a unique take. Instead of a lion or something, it's hilarious. <laughs> Grappling with, you know, something. And this is a perfect strength card. This is the Star Trek The Next Generation Tarot. And this guy is Worf. He's a Klingon who is a member of the Federation. And Klingons are known for their ferocity. They're very aggressive. They fight. And he's really had to tame that part of himself and know when to let it come through, but also um, embrace a different way of doing things that does not include just physically fighting all the time and being aggressive. Sometimes he really has to um, control himself and, you know, put those feelings aside until he can go to the holodeck and, you know, beat up some holographic person, <laughs> take his aggressions out in a more productive way way. And there's this balance with Worf where he's wants to honor that part of himself, but he also knows it's, he has to temper it 
um, with a little softer energy. Otherwise, it's going to backfire. The reason why I am strength reversed is because I think strength is about trust. And it's about like this Sophia card, you know, making friends with the difficulties of life and um, n taking things in stride and knowing when to, uh, you know, trusting ourselves and when to be fierce and when to be a little more gentle and really owning and learning, not just controlling, but learning to love the not so nice parts of ourselves. And for me, it's reversed because in my name, strength reversed, because it's a magnifier. So that is one of my life lessons is to learn to really trust the universe, trust that, uh, trust the process of life, trust that it is a safe place and that the universe has, is working for me. And that has, that's a very difficult thing for me to do with all of my anxiety and, you know, type A personality, um, trying not to exhaust myself, controlling things that I cannot control and making friends with, you know, those monsters, the anxiety monster and the control monster and the anger monster and all of those little monsters that are parts of ourselves, not controlling them, but learning to love them. Um, okay, well, that's my strength video. And sorry, it's not justice, but it will be justice in a few in a few cards from now. And I will look forward to seeing what everyone else thinks about strength. See you next time.